video i'm going to show you how to display the edit model form we've actually worked on how to display the details model we've worked on how to uh, add new item but uh, we need to work on edit model form and that is where you need to pay attention because today in this in this very uh, part we are going to be using uh, something called um uh, reactive forms okay is different from the form we use to insert a new item. Uh, in this case, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit different. Meanwhile, I'm going li to like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also, if you have any challenges whatsoever following my lessons, please leave me a comment. You have all the step-by-step -step here on my website. All right, so the first thing we want to do, we are going to maybe copy the 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 template for add new. So maybe I'm going to copy this template for add new and paste it. And this is what we are going to be using for, uh, I'm going to paste it right here. And I'm going to simply take out the form from there. So I've removed the form and I actually just change it to something else or change it to something else. And I'm going to call this update friend, perfect. All right, so um, in this case, we also might just change this to cancel because we need a submit button right inside the form. Now, we need a form tag. So I'm gonna add a form tag. In this case, it will be a little bit different uh, than what we used before for add new. In this case, you need to add a form group a form group, uh, a form group has you give it a name, and the name I'm going to give it in this case is edit form. That's the name of the form, and then you specify no validate as usual. Okay. Now this form group we use here, we've not actually created it, but it comes from reactive module. So you're gonna you have to import. Uh, reactive model so just click on it to import reactive model but now this form here have to be built yeah, that is the thing about reactive form you have to build the reactive form in your typescript file before then before i do that i'm going to first copy the content of this form so so it's basically about the same thing except that there are a number of changes you need to do for instance you need to um, change the input type to form control name here. You can see form control name instead of the name. And also when you are editing, you might want to display the ID of the record to be edited, but you might actually want to lock it up so that uh, when you are editing a form, you actually should not change the ID. So here I'm going to paste the complete form tag, the content of the form tag, uh level for id uh, actually let's see let me just go up modify any conflicting id so in this case we have level for id and input form control name id da, da, da. Uh, actually i can actually say id equal to id okay all right um so we have First name. So in this case, you now have form control name, and then uh, in this case, the template is going to be content edit because you don't have you don't need a duplicate templates. Remove all IDs attributes. Remove all the ID attributes. That is fine. Uh, ID is equal to ID. I can actually remove it, but maybe I just leave it because ID does not exist before now um let's see are we having any problem here no all right i think everything should be fine and let me show you something now i have a button a submit button here and this button uh have a markup data dismiss save changes okay so save changes is fine However, this button does not have any events. So we are going to add a click event for this button. So I'm going to scroll here. 
So we need a click event to open up a model and display the selected record. So I'm going to say on click uh, is equal to open edit. We've not written this form uh, this function yet, and we are opening content edits, and we want to pass in the selected uh, friend records. selected friend record like this all right so this friend friend here we are passing across we actually have not created it so we are going to just click on create field and it creates a friend record and this friend is going to be friend okay a friend data structure because when you are opening and you are passing a friend across this has to be the complete record uh, of the friend with all the 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 attributes of that particular record. So the next thing we would like to do is to build the form. So here how we would now build our reactive form because a reactive form has to be built. Okay. So let me quickly go through that. On the ng init method, you build the form. So when this function loads, we need to build this form right here so we are going to say this dot edit form uh we actually have not created this edit form variable okay okay no problem uh this dot edit form is equal to this dot form builder oh uh, okay um i think i'm missing out something okay so you see this step three we will now build a reactive form. To do that, add a parameter to the constructor of type form builder. Add a parameter of type form builder. So I'm going to say private form builder. Uh, private FB is going to be form builder. Okay, perfect. FB does group. That's how to build a form and i'm going to open and close braces it's fine so i'm going to specify the configuration now you don't have this edit form so i'm going to just create it right here so it's going to be a form group perfect okay add import statement have i not done that before okay perfect okay all right so we need to build our form. So building a form simply means specifying all the controls or all the uh, variables that uh, will be available in that form. So in this case, we have the ID. And this is the syntax. IDs have to be is empty. For now, we are building an empty form. Uh, we, are, we have first name. Empty string as well. So when the form is built initially, there is nothing there. Last name, Charlie would have copied this and paste, but I'm teaching you the need to be able to type by yourself because the more you type, uh, the better you get used to the, to, the, to the syntax of the language. And um, email. And finally, country. All right, so we built our reactive form. So we'll fix white space, uh, put a semicolon, I think. Here will be the semicolon. So we've built our reactive form. So at this point, we've built our reactive form. I would like to stop here and switch to a next path because uh, now I just want to, I want you to learn from this video that a reactive form uh, requires a little bit of more efforts, but it's, it's more feature-rich than template form, template-driven form. So at this point, we've built our reactive form, and now we want to now, uh, in such a way that when the user clicks on edit, uh, this form is going to display, uh, but when it displays, it's going to fill up the content of this empty, empty, empty form with the content of the selected record. So we are going to do that in the next part. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. I remain kind on the tech, kind on the tech pro. If you have any challenges, let me know. And remember to subscribe, like, and share this video around.